Humans have been battling viruses since before our species had even evolved into its modern form. For some viral diseases, vaccines and antiviral drugs have allowed us to keep infections from spreading widely and have helped sick people recover. These days we are facing the one more deadliest virus COVID-19, and soon God will give us the solution like before. We're a long way from winning the fight against viruses. In recent decades, several viruses have jumped from animals to humans and triggered sizable outbreaks, claiming thousands of lives. But I guess now is the best time to get to know the virus that put the world on lockdown a little bit more. The virus on number one has been around for decades, but it hasn't put us on our knees. In fact, we probably already found a cure probably. Stay tuned to find out just what that is here are the 10 deadliest viruses on Earth. Number 10. The Ebola Virus. The Ebola virus is one of four deadly viruses that can cause the dreaded Ebola virus disease. An extremely fatal viral disease that causes hemorrhagic fever in its victims. The virus was first discovered in 1976 near the Ebola River in what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo. Since then the virus has been infecting people from time to time, leading to outbreaks in several African countries. Scientists don't actually know where the Ebola virus comes from. However, based on the nature of similar viruses they believe the virus is an animal born. With bats or non-human primates such as chimpanzees, apes, monkeys, etc. being the most likely source. Infected animals carrying the virus can transmit it to other animals like apes, monkeys, jokers, and of course humans. Aside from a high fever and hemorrhaging from different parts of the body other symptoms include pain on different parts of the body, weakness and fatigue, diarrhea and vomiting. Like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get one week good luck for you. Try this it really works. Number 9. Dengue. Dengue virus first appeared in the 1950s in the Philippines and Thailand where it's still prevalent to this very day. Innocence spread throughout the tropical and subtropical regions of the globe. Up to 40% of the world's population now lives in areas where dengue is endemic. And the disease with the mosquitoes that carry it is likely to spread further as the world warms. Dengue sickens 50 to 100 million people a year according to the World Health Organization. Although the mortality rate for dengue fever is lower than some other viruses at 2.5%. The virus can cause Ebola-like diseases called dengue hemorrhagic fever, and that condition has a mortality rate of 20% if left untreated. A vaccine for dengue was approved in 2019 by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for use in children 9 to 16 years old living in areas where dengue is common and also with a confirmed history of virus infection. In some countries, an approved vaccine is available for those 9 to 45 years old. But again recipients must have contracted a confirmed case of dengue in the past. Those who have not caught the virus before could be put up at risk of developing severe dengue if given the vaccine. Number 8. The Hantavirus. Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, or HPS first gained wide attention in the US in 1993. When a healthy young Navajo man and his fiance living in the Four Corners area of the United States die within days of developing shortness of breath. A few months later health authorities isolated hantavirus from a deer mouse living in the home of one of the infected people. More than 600 people in the US have now contacted HPS and 36 have died from the disease. This is all according to the CDC. The virus isn't transmitted from one person to another. Rather people contract the disease from exposure to the droppings of infected mice. Previously a different hantavirus caused an outbreak in the early 1950s during the Korean War. According to a 2010 paper in the journal Clinical Microbiology Reviews more than 3,000 troops became infected and about 12% of them died. While the virus was new to Western medicine, when it was discovered the researchers realized later that Navajo medical traditions describe a similar illness. This disease was also linked to mice. Number 7. SARS-CoV. 
The virus that causes severe acute respiratory syndrome, or SARS and precursor to the virus that turned 2020 into a living nightmare. First appeared in 2002 in the Guangdong province of southern China according to the WHO. The virus likely emerged in bats initially then hopped into nocturnal mammals called civets before finally infecting humans. After triggering an outbreak in China SARS spread to 26 countries around the world. Infecting more than 8,000 people and killing more than 770 over the course of two years. The disease causes fever chills and body aches and autism progresses to pneumonia, a severe condition in which the lungs become inflamed and filled with pus. SARS has an estimated mortality rate of 9.6% and as of yet has no approved treatment nor a vaccine. However, no new cases of SARS have been reported since the early 2000s according to the CDC. Number 6. The Marburg Virus. Scientists identified the Marburg virus in 1967. This happened when small outbreaks occurred among lab workers in Germany who were exposed to infected monkeys imported from Uganda. Marburg virus is similar to Ebola and that both can cause hemorrhagic fever. Meaning that infected people develop high fevers and bleeding throughout the body that can lead to shock organ failure and death. It's unknown how the virus was first transmitted from its animal host to humans. However, in two cases where two tourists visiting Uganda, it was discovered that they acquired the virus through unprotected contact with bat feces. The mortality rate in the first outbreak was 25%, but it was more than 80% in the 1998 to 2000 outbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This also happened in the 2005 outbreak in Angola, according to the World Health Organization. To this day there is no specific treatment for Marburg hemorrhagic fever. However, it has been treated successfully using supportive hospital therapy which includes balancing the patient's fluids and electrolytes. Maintaining oxygen status and blood pressure replacing lost blood and clotting factors and treatment for any complicating infections. Number 5. Rabies. Rabies is a fatal but preventable viral disease. It can spread to people and pets if they're bitten or scratched by a rabid animal. In the United States, rabies is mostly found in wild animals such as bats, raccoons, skunks, and foxes. However, in many other countries dogs still carry rabies, and most rabies deaths and people around the world are caused by dog bites. The rabies virus infects the central nervous system. If a person does not receive the appropriate medical care, after a potential rabies exposure the virus can then cause disease in the brain ultimately resulting in death. Tell me have you seen a person suffering from rabies? Don't look it up because I promise you the images are gonna haunt you for a while. People with rabies will initially feel flu-like symptoms. However, as the virus spreads people will experience agitation and anxiety hyperactivity and excessive salivation giving victims an appearance of foaming at the mouth. Later on, victims will be privy to hallucinations experience partial paralysis, and finally of course death. Number 4. Smallpox. In 1980 the World Health Assembly declared the world free of smallpox, but before that humans battled smallpox for thousands of years. Before smallpox was eradicated it was a serious infectious disease caused by the variola virus. It was a very contagious meaning of course it spread from one person to another. People who had smallpox had a fever and a distinctive progressive skin rash. Now most people with smallpox recover, but about 3 out of every 10 people with the disease died. Many smallpox viruses have permanent scars over large areas of their body. Especially their faces some are even left blind. Mortality rates were far higher in populations outside of Europe where people had little contact with the virus before visitors brought it to their regions. For example, historians estimate that 90 of the native population of the Americas died from smallpox introduced by European explorers. In the 20th century alone smallpox killed 300 million people. Thanks to the success of vaccination smallpox was eradicated and no cases of naturally occurring smallpox have happened since 1977. The last natural outbreak of smallpox in the U.S. occurred in 1949. Number 3. 
MERS-CoV. The virus that causes Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS sparked an outbreak in Saudi Arabia in 2012 and another in South Korea in 2015. The MERS virus belongs to the same family of viruses as SARS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2 and likely originated in bats as well. The disease infected camels before passing into humans and triggers fever coughing and shortness of breath and infected people. Health officials first reported the disease in Saudi Arabia in September 2012. Through retrospective investigations, they later identified that the first known case of mirrors occurred in Jordan in April 2012. So far all cases of mirrors have been laying through travel to or residents in countries in and near the Arabian Peninsula. The largest known outbreak of mirrors outside the Arabian Peninsula occurred in the Republic of Korea in 2015. The outbreak was associated with a traveler returning from the Arabian Peninsula. MERS often progresses to severe pneumonia and has an estimated mortality rate between 30 and 40 percent. This makes it the most lethal of the known coronaviruses that jump from animals to people. As with SARS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2 MERS has no approved treatments nor vaccinations. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's pick is the virus that has the entire world on lockdown right now. That's why I thought only this deadly virus can take second place on our list. We already know what it is and what it does. But let's get a bit more educated. Number 2. SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2 belongs to the same large family of viruses as SARS-CoV. This particular strain was first identified in December of 2019 in the Chinese city of Wuhan. The virus likely originated in bats like SARS-CoV and passed through an intermediate animal before infecting people. Remember that viral video of a man eating a bat somewhere in China. Rumors quickly spread that the whole pandemic started from that guy. Although I'm gonna say this that's pretty unlikely. Since its appearance, the virus has infected tens of thousands of people in China and millions of others worldwide. The ongoing outbreak prompted an extensive quarantine of many countries around the world. Restrictions on travel to and from affected countries and a worldwide effort to develop diagnostics treatments and vaccines are still going to this very day. The disease caused by SARS-CoV-2 called COVID-19 has an estimated mortality rate of about 2.3%. People who are older or have underlying health conditions seem to be more at risk of having severe disease or complications. Common symptoms include fever, dry cough, and shortness of breath, and the disease can progress in pneumonia and severe cases. Number 2. HIV. In the modern world, the deadliest virus of all may be HIV. It is still the one that is the biggest killer, said Dr. Ramesh Dalja, an infectious disease physician and spokesman for the Infectious Disease Society of America. An estimated 32 million people have died from HIV since the disease was first recognized in the early 1980s. The infectious disease that takes the biggest toll on mankind right now is HIV, Adalja said. Powerful antiviral drugs have made it possible for people to live for years with HIV. But the disease continues to devastate many low- and middle-income countries, where 95% of new HIV infections occur. Nearly one in every 25 adults within the WHO African region is HIV positive, accounting for more than two-thirds of the people living with HIV worldwide. There is a silver lining though just earlier this year two people have been successfully cured of HIV giving hope to millions of people all over the world. All of these viruses are definitely deadly, but don't count out the human will to survive. Yet cures are always being researched and tested and the speed at which the vaccine to COVID-19 is proof of that. Then again prevention is still better than any cure so always remember to follow the safety procedures in your area. You can watch some more amazing videos on our channel here.